Hello everybody, UFC Wildcat here. And Powder Blue Bolts. And this is the 8th installment of our bowl special series. This week we'll be talking about the Little Caesars Bowl between Central Michigan and Western Kentucky. And uh, those two teams might get some of you excited, probably not, but you know, it is a bowl so we do have to talk about it. Um, this bowl is featuring two teams that like to run the ball a lot. And um, you know, it's probably going to be a pretty low scoring game um, with the amount of ru uh, rushing that's going to happen. And uh you know these two pretty. These are two uh, pretty middle of the road uh, teams in Western Kentucky and Central Michigan. However, Western Kentucky did just uh, land a home run hire in Bobby Petrino. Some may say it's a home run hire, but um, there are a lot of people who are actually upset about it. They think that um, Bobby Petrino's pass should um, keep him out of the game for a while. But I mean, he's the, already back in. At the end of the day, he's still heck of a coach, and you know, leading the. Arkansas Razorbacks to some high marks in the SEC conference. I can only imagine what he's going to do for Western Kentucky. Yeah, just hope he stays away from them young females and motorcycles, <laughs> if yeah. only. All um, right. This is also, um, fun fact, this is Western Kentucky's first bowl ever. Wow, really? This is a really nice one, and um, I'm really happy for him. I hope they get a big win. It, it sucks that their coach who got them there, you he's know, left. Be there. Yeah. yeah. But nonetheless, these, uh, especially the seniors, do, do deserve to go to a bowl, and um we're going to start off with some uh, key players for the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. Uh, starting off with their uh, really, really good um, halfback. halfback looking at. Uh, Antonio Andrews is his name. Um, looking at him right now, um, he's actually pretty close to setting an NCAA record for all-purpose yards. Yeah, and it says he's really close to surpassing Barry Sanders' uh, 32 150 yards from his Heisman Trophy winning season. So that just goes to show you how good this guy is, really. Yeah, he's got 1,600 yards rushing, 11 touchdowns, but he also looks like a really dynamic returner. Yeah. And he's uh, 274 yards away from surpassing that record. So that'd be a great mark, especially for a team, you know, in the Sun Belt. Yeah. I mean, unless he catches fire in this game, I don't see that happening. But even being in the same field as Barry Sanders is a very high honor for I think the thing that needs to happen for this kid um he needs to have like a great day rushing he needs to have like 150 yards maybe even 200 to be lucky mm -hmm. and then he needs to do something in the return game maybe get like a big return or something or if he averages like if say he gets three returns and he averages like 25 yards there's um 75 yards right yeah. there just off return it could happen yeah it's very good and um it really sucks again for this team They've got a guy who is um, the Sun Belt Defensive Player of the Year in defensive end, Quantaris Smith. It really sucks this guy's out due to a knee injury. He suffered November 17th against their rival, Louisiana La or against um, Louisiana Lafayette, a conference of foe. Mm -hmm. Averaging a sack per game, has over 12 and a half, or has 12 and a half on the season, so he led the nation in sacks per game. Yeah, it, it really sucks. I feel bad for this kid. Yeah. Man, oh well. But, hey, we're going to move on to um, Western Kentucky – or not Western Kentucky, but Central Michigan. Um, they also have a really good running back. Yeah, they sure do. And uh, Zerlon Tipton averaging uh, 6.1 yards per carry and 1,391 yards in the season is going to be a big, big uh, reason for the Chippewas to come away with a win against the uh, – Hilltoppers and that 6.1 yards per carry is really the stat that stands out to me. I mean, if you hand the ball off to him every single down, you can literally march down the field and score. So that just you know goes to show you how much this team likes to run. Yeah, and it's actually really good. They have like a decent at quarterback in Ryan Radcliffe, and he's got two pretty good wide receivers in Titus Davis and Cody Wilson. They've combined for 107 yards or 107 receptions for almost 1600 yards and uh, 10 touchdowns. So. You know, maybe if they can get a passing game along with that rushing mm -hmm. game, maybe they can do something. Um, what do you think are some keys of the game for Western Kentucky? Uh, keys of the game for Western Kentucky, I'm going to say, is uh, eliminating turnovers. If you let this uh, Central Michigan team, like you said, they have a pretty good passing attack. So if you let them get the ball a lot, they'll be able to score pretty quickly. So if they can eliminate turnovers, I think they have a good chance to win. Yeah. I think the same. It kind of goes along the same lines for um, Central Michigan. Yeah. They need to. They need to be able to be balanced. You know. Again, like like I feel like most teams need to do, they need to like keep the defense on their heels, be able to run the ball, be able to have some, you know, decent passing stats, you know, maybe maybe get a turnover like on the opposite end. They need to maybe make a turnover to get in this game. I don't know. These teams really it's it's one of those piss poor bowls that we're gonna have yeah, to watch. These teams are extremely, extremely similar 
but not really in a good way. They're kind of they they're they're good at things. They they run the ball pretty well. They're also they share the same um, negatives and they have the same you know disadvantages to their team. So I think this is going to be a pretty tight game. Um, what are some score predictions? Um, I don't know. I'm not really too interested in this game. It's going to be one of those games that's going to... It's a 7.30 game, so, I mean, it's in Detroit, too, so... I don't know. It bodes well for Central Michigan. bodes well for Central Michigan. They're playing at home, so... I think I'm going to give them the nod. I think, like you said, it'll be kind of close. I'm going to say 17-14 Central Michigan over Western Kentucky. Yeah, I kind of agree with you that Central Michigan have a slight edge to Western Kentucky, just purely based on the fact that they have just a little bit better of a passing attack in my opinion and i'm going to go along the same route as you i'm going to say 24 21 uh central michigan all righty guys well that is our our eighth episode thanks for watching remember to like comment and subscribe tell us what you think is going to happen in the bowl and tune in next time when we talk about the military bowl between san jose state and bowling green ufc wildcat and powder blue bolt signing out